Hi, this is Rave and Dave on my YouTube channel. I do the walkthrough of F1 2019 career mode. Like me, subscribe. You can follow me, Raven Dave, on Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram and wherever you please on uh, YouTube. So, this is my first time recording the um, F1 2019. So, I started with my player and just getting started. So, I already picked my face. And I know I pick my country region, like USA, Australia, and whatever. So USA is the best, best, um, best thing. So I'm putting my name is. I know my fictional name is Sean Collins, and uh, that's we getting started. And um, and I understand. So, so yeah. So it's Sean. And the, and last thing is Collins. It's my fictional name, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So I get the COL on my um on my names and and like I said, if, so they're pretty new for F1 2019. Like the current driver for 2019 will be moving to another team, and and yeah, like Hamilton moved to Ferrari, but Stefan moving to um um. Um, Mercedes and whatnot, a lot cooler. So, um, yeah. So, well, you for to do um, then. I already picked my driver number. I got already set, and let's get going, shall we? In F1 2019, you'll be invited to start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the springboard to Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series, your choice of driver academy and your performance in F2 will determine the terms of the contracts offered by the teams as you embark upon your career in Formula 1 and begin to write your own chapter of motorsport history. Okay, and now you can pick your your race teams. You can pick what um what um junior program you guys know. So you have you got Carlin, you got ART, we got Dance, Russian Time, Prima, Charus, Campos, MP Motorsport, BWT Arden, and Trident. So 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 many teams. That's so. I already decided I'm picking with dams and some source and um there's a lot of lots of great F two teams so it's new in F one twenty one nineteen. You can pick any F two team wherever you want to and yeah, it is um pretty cool now these uh, so there's and there's you guys like Miss Schumacher and other songs are but those the last year too like like currently we have Lando Norris and then you got um um Pat um Berber Mary you got uh, and some city um whatever you know, whatever you get. so I'm picking Downs which is a great team uh, with Sebastian Buemi uh, I would have Smarty and uh, so I bought in the Formula E like two years ago I bought the E dance which is now Nissan E dance I bought the old rental e because they're they're um Nissan rental and Mitsubishi on there uh, so I'm picking dams and all to say so I which are so so many teams that every every does so I'm picking down so now you can select a cam you got Rents Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, McLaren, um, Renault, and you could. Uh, so I'm picking the Red Bull team. So, um, so I pick the Red Bull. Going Sebastian Bully, Hongi Rossi, and John Arvert. Uh, so, Ferrari, Ferrari, do time to get started. So we're in Barcelona. My teammates Lucas Weaver and 
had to beat Devin Butler, so enjoy. Devin Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Okay, so I slowed down. The, I thought I'd begin my run to catch up with um with um, um Devin Butler uh, driving for um, um I forgot me, but okay, so um so I'm driving the dance car and here we go, three, two, one, and start. So I have to catch up with um with Devin Butler. My I I'm behind Sete Kamara. Trying to get to the outside and trying to get to the side, but it's not working. But first of all, I had to let Lucas Weaver to get, because I had to get in the grass, and there he goes. There goes Weaver, and and he had to get the fastest lap of the race, and you know, this, the F1, the F2 cars is kind of hard to drive, but I'm trying to get used to it. So I already turned off the um the brakes and the um, even though I can break wherever I wanted to. Okay, so here we go. Three laps to go. And all I have to do is catch up with Sete Kamara, who's a very good driver. Yeah, so, head towards turn number one, two to the F. Where's that? The second to Barcelona. And then the turn three is a long turn to. Just free. Towards it off the turn number three, and then head towards turn four, heartbreaking. There's Sete Kamada, and off the turn four, and head towards turn number five, and that will be end of the um, first sector. Head towards the second sector, so um, here we go. Can't tell with Sete Kamada, break, and behind thing. It's hard to control when you. you Behind the car, with more overture. So, off the door's turn seven, that long uphill kink, that's sector two, and head towards three, the braking area, head towards the hairpin, not to try, not to touch the car line, and head towards the, oh, I got, oh, I got some oversteer, my car just gave away, but it was recovered, so, um, Head towards the towards the um, chicane and well, and head towards the last corner and that is the full lap of the circuit de Barcelona. Now to go, try to catch up with Sete Kamara. And I'm at the TRS zone right behind him and here we go. Getting behind Sete Kamara and try try to ease off because I don't want to touch. The driver, so um, so if I have towards turn three, but go behind Seth Kamara and uh, and here I go with your run for here and on the wall on the outside. This is crazy, man. So, so I pass Seth Kamara, so I got two lots to catch up with Lando Norris, who is his um, car own teammate from last year. Now Lando is in um he's in driving for McLaren and he's doing so well with that he maybe the chance to help McLaren to get into the future and that's I love Lando Norris and the young guns of the Formula One like Norris and <coughs> Norris and and um, Leclerc and especially um between Master Staff and then also teammate Pierre Gasly at Red Bull was so yeah, um, Rebel, I, ooh, there I got loose again, though. I'm probably not going to catch up with North. So, I racing with Dance as an F2 team, and my uh, Kami is the, um, is the Rebel Kami, so, yeah. So, I, sorry, wanted to have a sportsmanship, but I look, look at the contract they want to show me shit, so I'll try to do what's next to in, in my next video. And... And the final lap, and I uh, know that Lucas Weaver is going to get the last 
we have the fastest lap and probably gonna win this with goodbye um Kevin Butler uh, so very little story mode chappy chip and this is um this is some um, me so I got another chance to catch up with Lando Morris which I don't think I'm able to so after turn number four and or in the off corner hit or so hairpin turn up five. Ooh, I catch up with Norris and second dog. There's turn six. I got land on my sight. It's our seventh and eighth. Right there uphill and then turn nine, the long uphill kink. And that's where the DRS is located. Get off before hits or turn number ten. There is DRS. Oh here I go. And break a turn ten and and then off turn ten and then eleven twelve is the as far as I finally get I finally get a hang of this and look at Fever has the fastest lap and ends a win turns thirteen and then fourteen fifteen is the the fifty are the um. Chicane and then turn 16 of the circuit to Barcelona and I'm going to finish in four. So what we'll recovery from that power spin and well done for me, well done for Sean Cards, my creative character. And here's and here it is. It's a well-deserved victory for Dams then, after that breathtaking race. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think what made them the race was their ability to adapt. At every point, they delivered what was needed. They were calm and steady when they needed to be, but they were ruthless and aggressive when it was demanded of them. There wasn't anything out there that they weren't preparing to enter. Let's see if they can keep it up this season. And I can see our drivers making their way out now. It's been a sublime team performance, and it's the culmination of a lot of hard work. Dams are your winners today. All right, time to meet the press. The point is, you could do some sports here. Here we go. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people. Okay? I think we're ready. Great. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will be. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. Okay, so you look at those new to the, or how you saying it. So I picked the second one on the bottom that built up in sportsmanship. So sportsmanship increase. Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? Uh, hard shoes, but I'll take the second one down the bottom. Get the rewards. You ever want to race in this one? 
that's how it is. Dude. Hmm. And remind me, how many F1 races have you won? Watch this space. The end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy, and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon, but it's still early days. He's either very clever, or you're just a pushover. Do you really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? Or you start looking out for yourself? No one else will. We're in the Red Bull ring. All I have to do is catch up with Devin Buffer after Devin Buffer clicked my wings. and So I have to make up some time to get him. So here we go. getting past and there's contact Butler simply left them nowhere to go there was just no way for them to have avoided that and look there's significant damage not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression but I'm sure the stewards are gonna have something to say very shortly And here we go. After I got clipped by Butler, and we're going to make the start and underway. So I had to try to catch up with Devin Butler, and oh, I had to catch up with Max Gunter, who's now racing for Dragon Racing in Formula E. Okay, so I have there's turn one, there's turn long spring turns two, and, and there's the hairpin turn. Four. And be careful. Let's see. I mean, Arizona uses this. It's difficult. I don't know this one. So, I get by a Gunter would be an Arden. Um, the racing point with the BWT. Ooh, I almost hit him. So, got Gunter and then get close to Sete Kamada. So, so off the turn number. Okay, there, there's the last corner, and now we have to catch up with Devin's Kamara. He set the Kamara. And there's this nine. There's a six. And so we have the break in turn one the, towards the um, corner. We go wide. Or so that's turn one, and this turns two and. Three and they're all kings. Now hard breaking in the hairpin turn number four. There's such the a Kamara. Okay, the gap behind is two point nine seconds. And eight ten. There's five. You get close to set the Kamara. Let's turn six. Fast men pretty easily. Okay, but there's three places ahead of you right now. And so it's turn eight now with the off the current is turns nine, the hard breaking. Turns nine, and then ten, eleven is the S. So if there it's Roberto Mari. I saw him in the in the PTM. So that's turn ten and eleven. And our turn twelve and thirteen would make the full lap. And that's with five, four laps to go when he crosses the line. Oh, and we come close. But I almost hit Mari and now use the DRS. I'm getting close to George Russell who now drives for Williams this season. And, ooh, I got a little wide. Oh, yeah, and I, yeah, I got a little wide because um, the DRS was too late. So, for a second, after one, a little slow. Got get close to George Russell. Pete and then DRS is now activated, got by Russell and now 
Impulsive the Butler. Okay, that's cool. Awesome. And here we go. Yeah. Yes. 10 11 and so she guesses. Well, those, the um, Metrical Power F2 cards is like, sort of, well, but character is not more, um, more than used to, and this is why. Oh, there's. Well, we got by by Malakoff and uh, more. And here we go. Three laps to go. And we got to get closer. There's some bullet. We got past Markov and getting, getting closer. We're getting closer. We're getting too far away. Towards turn number four. And I that oh, and almost. I'm running wide, but I ain't able to break too hard. Let's to see what Sean Collins has to do. I need Sean Collins, although it's not my real name, but I, this is the main album. It's like, it turned out to be a movie and, and some sorts. I mean, let's oh, get by Markov and not being close to Devin Butler. The reason why I put it on, uh, on easy because I'm trying to also, in the last one, and I just put 95% later on to show you the video, so. And so, so, here, the rest of the, the rest of my video, I'm just going to show you, you, um, replays. I'm not going to talk because I have a speech impediment, so. Um, so, here, go. here it comes. It got by Butler, although he's going to get a 5 second penalty for it, doesn't matter. Two to go. And off of turn one, two, two and three, and three and nine, and Bandy, and, and, and four, and three, and some hairpin, and you know, another three turns five, three, two. Also, I love Austria, although it's a short track, but it has three story waves in it. <sighs> Have three straightaways and that's good. Some good corner, but it's okay. So it used to be the authorized ring, and then changed it to the A1 ring, and then we'll, Red Bull bought the um the track from this, and then successive Red Bull racing in the early 2010s, they renamed the F Red Bull ring. And how cool is that? I never been to F1 race, but. I've been in other other FI centers, includes Formula E and near to E3. This is gonna be my third year, and this. Let's go. Here we go. Up by the breeze, breeze and. Oh, well, uh, not to get um. But oh, and I run wide, and um. Uh, Devin's currently in sixth place. Six. The, the final lap. I'm not gonna get by Goto, but Goto was. I may get a podium for this and keep my, keep my F2 alive and, and close and close and think. That's probably not gonna be a close enough. Oh, or will I? Yep. There he is. You see Gato and he's on the medium compound and I'm on the south end. What you going to do? Although I'm going from second to McLaren driver Lando Norris who does a job for car and racing. If you know car you can see they are F2 team and now racing in the Indy car which is next week right in the it's Mitch Ralph and here we go. Last lap and I'm going through second and Lando Norris will go on to win the race. Get a check up on the win, baby. Well done, good finish. He stepped up and achieved what he asked. Good job.
It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Carlin today. So, Davide, what did you make of that? Well, it was a bit of a roller coaster, I think. There will be a lot of cheering for today's win. Frankly, I'm amazed that Devon Butler only received a penalty for that collision only. But watching the rival he knocked out actually come back and beat him, that made this whole race worthwhile for me. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once again shown their expertise when it comes to recruiting new talent. No doubt today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. They certainly deserve it after today's performance. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Well, that was a great recovery today. Did you think it was all over when you had the collision with Devon? So did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? I've seen that you and Lucas have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? Great, well that's everything. Ah, I was looking for you. Well, what can I say? I guess there's no other way to put this, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ever giving you the common respect that all racers deserve, because you don't deserve it, neither of you do. That was the dirtiest driving I've ever seen. Ridiculous. My thoughts exactly. I'm taking my line and I get smashed into? I'm fine, by the way, thanks for asking. And then I'm penalized for the privilege. You're unbelievable. You deserved every second of that penalty, maybe more. I mean, aside from trashing the car, did you ever stop to think that maybe someone could get hurt? Yeah. Me? Fine. But winning at any cost is your strategy, not ours. You better watch yourself. Whatever. <sighs> Don't let him get in your head. He knows you're a better driver. So, on the track, stay away from him. He will try to force you into contact. That's how he wins, yeah? Let's get ready for the press briefing. All right, we're in the last event at the Yasin Circuit at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So all I have to do is finish ahead of the Butler and then I'll be playing F2 champion. So I'll just give you a round of the shut up and enjoy. So here we are in Abu Dhabi. Each and every event in the Formula 2 calendar has led us here to this, the final event of the championship, and one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped. So the Yaz Island circuit offers 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed, and plenty of excitement for the fans, no doubt. Joining me for one last time here this year is Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I'm glad you're here, because I think I'm going to need help processing all this. Surely, this is as exciting as it gets. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It's the perfect finale. Two drivers, rivals of season, now going into the final race, tied on points both way out in front at the top of the standings, meaning whichever of these two drivers cross the line first will be crowned champion. I can't wait. Okay, we're at the start. This is final way for the season, and here we go. And it lights out, and a play we go, and... Oh, it's 
to make stuff move and have to turn over more, try to pass more cars and it, Oh, it almost hit Seto Kamara and bounced back just but and uh, there is Butler, there is Devin Butler and got past Butler with ease and sorry so, so and here comes Butler striking back on the end and then towards turn two and then but towards the hairpin and that but here towards a long straight so DRS is yet to be activated so I'm get by second Camaro no problem supposed to work First of all, he was out break him. Oh. Yes, there is the point and I break too early, so are still in and so I have to stay behind that guy. So also I have to get stay behind the bubble. And here comes comes Collins on the Sunday Kamara. Ooh, and this is both racing out to the by not hitting the car and there we go. And now I'm behind George Russell with you. see last year's F2 champion. Also, this is the one of the two cars. Just Russell has tried to get the inside. And then, then, the breaking in. Oh, and there's so the left front on the wing. And uh, but no worry, it's fine, boy. By Russell and so, what do you do? Pass me. The top four that's no deal. And here, oh, oh, and I got two second penalty before I clean the track. So two seconds that 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 that's not bad. So get by Russell and so Mark. There's Mark. There's Mario off or by Mario off again. Try to get by um the almost hit the almost hit the back. Turns turn turn three and then turn four. Hit the horse. The king turns five, six, and the horse. Here pin at seven. Will lose. King is but so this is incredible. So. So I got by Gale and with the straight and headed towards turn eight and nine with the start of the second sector and then here we go uh, eight and nine heartbreaking heartbreaking and here we go so here towards the first one that will be activated there's turn ten of one king and head towards 11, 12, and 13. There's 11, 12, and 13, and that's 11, 12, and 13. Uh, left, right, left, okay. and then there's 14. That's, that's a turn 14. Is a, that's answer turns 15, 16, and a heartbreak at 17. Down flying and then turn 18 into the left hander, 19 another left hander, and then turns 20 and 21 and one and so that's completely left uh, got the lead with first move that's on Devin's currently in peace Moves away to win the championship. Yes. Now fast forward to fast forward to two laps ago and because I waste of time so Oh, relax. Yeah, and in oh, he's got the fastest time. He turns one, turn left hand to two. We'll probably the office turns three, and then turn four, and then a hard breaking five. And I think somebody's out to race in first turn or some. This is 22 corners of intense. That's because the reason why we racing on the daytime is because this is a Feature race, of, it's a sprint race, so before the Grand Prix, so it's long, so nighttime long to have fun. It turns, turns eight and nine, and a heartbreaking in nine, left and right, and off the, yeah, off the turn. Remember, you have to tap the, 
tap, sorry, I'm not sure. You have to tap them but to create more track returns. Turn 10 along. Then 11 and 12 or 10 or 11, 12, 13, and there's 14. Heartbreaking. And then off to turn 15, 16 is a well, full charge for breaking turn 17. And go off my just a little bit then. Oh, right. So, full yellow flag is kind of the, um, another car was out of the way so. Turn 21 and 22. And so we head to the final lap of the race thing. As before I do that, I have to skip the Australia race because I'll just for now on, for here on out, I'm showing you replays and qualifying and all I need to give you. So I'm my apologies on going to be skipping out Australia, but I'll do that in our next video when I move to a new team with the you know, record racing. I want to talk about it. So, let's yeah. we'll pick sector and sector one. We'll pick sector and sector two. And sector one. So, like I said, so I'm not doing Australia because I'm, you know, still thought it was my fault. So, probably in the second one, you know, I'll show you the highlights of the Australian Grand Prix. But I'm going to show you the bottom rank Grand Prix for your extra trouble. So, that's all I want. Okay. 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 So, turns 9, 8, and 9, 10, the log king, and I don't see the butler, I already won. And okay. So, let's slow and set to 2. And, okay. So, anyway. So a sucker way become F2 champion and uh, if you remember I'm going to pick in, in Toro Rosso and you know because I already, already picked the Red Bull Junior team because the guys like Sebastian Vettel, Wemmy, Alka Squarty and Vern because a lot of, yeah, and of course for staffing and nothing and Gasly. So turns 21. 22 off the corners head towards right and I'm the F2 champion. Woohoo! Well done, good finish. You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. There were questions at the start of the season as to whether they could really go all the way, but there's no question anymore. What a special year it's been, and here they are, the new Formula 2 World Drivers' Champion. A great win then for the Dams team today. Talk to me, Davide. Was it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. Yet it all. The arrival, the tension, the excitement. These two drivers have been locked in fierce competition all season. And to see it comes down to head to head battle for the line like this, well, these kind of things doesn't happen very often. They have put in a good performance throughout the championship, but today the accolade goes to his rival and the new Formula 2 champion. That result also seals the Formula 2 World Championship title. Congratulations to our winner after an incredible season. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? I think I'm going to award it to the Dams driver. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at times. 
so I don't think anyone did a better job today. Where Dams have taken the team's championship title. They are this year's Formula 2 team champions. And after all that excitement, I think it's time for a lie down. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. First of all, congratulations. You must be thrilled. Wow, you're the driver's champion. How does it feel? So that was a thrilling end to the season. How was the race for you? Wow, we've been hearing rumours of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care to comment? Great. Well, that's everything. Congratulations, mate. F2 champion. Hey, congratulations. Enjoy it, because it's the last time it'll ever happen. Devon, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Hey, we know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. That's great. You needed the win. I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to F1. Oh, you two, you two. You got your work cut out for you now that I'm gone. So you're going to have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got you here. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Well, this has been a lot of fun. But I gotta run. Yeah, things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao. So, with this big win, you're gonna be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. Come on, let's go celebrate. Okay, choose an F1 team with high expectations and starters of the ground floor and the reputation floors. Alright, so I'm going to make an interview and let you know I'm going to pick I'm going to pick Toro Rosso ah, because I'm part welcome. of the Red Bull Junior team. Here we go. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we have the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubt is over. But I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. So the criteria for this is looking for teams for sportsmanship, showmanship, and so I'm picking Toro Rosso to be looking for some sportsmanship. So anyway, if you like the video, just go to um, Raven Dave on my Twitter account, and then then go to Raven Dave on my Instagram. If you want to argue, so I like your video, and I want to apologize to take that trek along. So enjoy the video, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Like me and yeah, subscribe. So click on the notification button to low out below and and um find more content. Until then this Ray Days saying Okay bye Excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it.